morning class welcome back to our online class again so now it's time for our second session right so how do you feel after you have a break time great so you feel happy right and enjoy the food at home also so now let's move to our lesson for second session for today that teacher want you to have our book right now is grammar planet one that today we have new lesson unit 10 that we talk about she has a cookie on page 45 right okay so now let's move to our lesson for today and our lesson today we talk about how to use have and has so now let me explain to you have and has so have is the form of the word that go with such pronoun as I, you, we, and they, as well as with plural nouns. So as you know already, when we use with have, we need to use with plural noun that we have I, you, we, and they, right? But if you use has, has is like those with pronoun he, she, it, and with singular noun. So he, she, it, this one we call it singular noun. So if you see singular noun, you need to use with has. But if you use with plural noun, you need to use with have, right? Okay, so now let me explain to you how to use have and has clearly related with uh, our lesson for today that we need to use have and has with subject, right? Okay, so here is the form. Then we have three forms of using. One is informative form and the second one is negative form and the last one is inter interrogative form. So interrogative form is the same form of question form, right? Okay, so now let's look at informative form. It's like a positive form that we have full and short form that you can write in two ways. I have I have right that you can write the first one is the full form and the second one here is the short form that you can write apostrophes V and A right okay I have you have he she it has you we they have so here is the form of positive and here is the form of negative that you need to use with do not have if you use with I you we they right that you need to use with do not or we can say it don't have but if you use with he she it we can write like this in full form does not have and short form is doesn't have but if you use in question form you need to put do in front and after that is the subject right okay look like this one do i do you does he does she does it or do we do you or do they right and the next one is have so now let's move to the next one that uh, here is the form clearly how to use have and has the teacher have informative negative and interrogative right okay so now let's look at our example so i have a cookie I teacher need to use with have right because that one is plural I have a cookie she has a ball when we use in negative we need to put like this she doesn't have a ball when we use in question does she have a ball so I hope that you understand how to use have and has clearly so now let's move to our page 45 that you can see in our first column in here that we have I, you, she, he, it, and Sam. And this one they put it one, and this one they put it uh, have and has. So how we use with I, you, we, and they, right? But if you use with has, only he, she, and it. So here is our form. And I explained to you already how to use it, but in this form, they use just only positive form that we call it informative, right? And what to be, you need to look and choose. So we have number one, number two, and number three. You need to choose 
the correct one the relative with half and head so now let's do it everyone and i give you five minutes to do it. okay so i know that you finished already right so now let's check your answer that is correct or not so number one i have or i has good i i have i have bread number two we have or we has good we have a table number three makes have or make has good make has a bone right so here is our answer for our page 45 that related with our exercise b so i hope that you can do it as well and now it's time for our second session and thank you for your watching and one more thing teacher will provide you the homework after this video so don't forget to do your homework and one more thing if you have any question you can ask me in our group Thank you everyone. See you again on Monday. Bye-bye.